Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa. Also, keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. What's the overall energy between Leo and the person Leo's connecting with or will be connecting with? Ooh, I like it. We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And then we also have new love. We got romantic feelings. Oh, this sounds like a turnaround to me where I kind of feel like somebody was kind of fighting, possibly resisting a connection here. But this is them taking action and going after what it is that they want. Um, and not allowing their ego and their pride to really get in the way. So, Leo, this could be you. This could be the person that you're connecting with. Maybe it was the both of you, where the both of you were kind of fighting this connection. And now the two of you are not allowing your egos and your pride to really get in the way of this, this connection. Because the two of you can definitely have a beautiful thing here. But I'm getting a massive turnaround, uh, whether it's just with one person or two people. So, we'll see. How does Leo currently view this relationship? Still keep in mind, Leo, the energies could be vice versa. So you may resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. Just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. How does Leo currently view this relationship? I like this. We got the Three of Cups, Cancer, Ten of Cups. Uh, Pisces with the Knight of Wands going after what truly makes you happy and who truly makes you happy. Again, there was a level of resistance coming from you here that you were kind of allowing to kind of meddle in between you and what truly makes you happy, but that's going away. That's going away because you're coming to terms with the fact that this person truly does make you happy. This is somebody that you truly do love. This is somebody that you want to come back together with and work towards um, a relationship with and build on this relationship. And again, you're not allowing anything to stop you from who you truly want to be with. All right. And again, I do feel like in the past... You were allowing possibly maybe your ego, maybe even your pride uh, really get in the way of you honestly experiencing um, this connection to the fullest extent here. But like I said, that is actually changing. How does this person currently view this relationship with Leo? This person could be younger than you. It doesn't necessarily have to be the case. We have the Fool, which I do love. Aries, also Aquarius. Queen of Wands, more Aries energy. With the Page of... I feel like you're inspiring this person. I do. Sometimes it takes, you know, one person to really step up to the plate to inspire the other. And I feel like that's what's happening here. Is that this person's kind of looking at you like, oh... Oh, you're serious? Oh, you're serious, right? Um, and I feel like that's actually inspiring this person to feel like it's safe to take this leap of faith towards you and this relationship with you. And it's giving them more confident uh, to want to manifest and create uh, a relationship with you. And again, I kind of feel, like I said, I kind of feel like there was a lot of ego at play, not only on your end, but also on theirs, right? Um, maybe the two of you were a little bit in denial about one another or about this connection here. But like I said, that is changing. That's changing. Hopefully we can keep it this way. How does, uh, Leo feel about this relationship? Okay. I see. We got the three of wands, Aries, got the high priestess. So Pisces. With the world here, Leo, Aqua, Taurus, also Scorpio, you're coming to terms with the fact that in order to change things between you and this person, you must change yourself. So it's basically kind of reemphasizing what I already spoke about. Um, again, I feel like you're you're highly intuitive. Um, and again, it's like your intuition is telling you that if you really want things to change between you and this person, you must change. Your, you must change first, right? Um, and I feel like that's what's going to essentially inspire this person to feel like it's safe uh, for them to kind of gravitate toward you. Because maybe in the past, this person didn't feel like it was safe. Remember, they are showing up as the uh, Eight of Cups 
with the Nine of Cups here. So we got a Ace of Cups essentially at play, right? So just picture the Ace of Cups attached to the Ten of Swords. As much as this person wanted to essentially take this leap of faith with you in the past, uh, what essentially stopped them was fear, right? But again, that's changing. That's changing because this person's looking at you like, oh, 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 you're serious. You're serious. Oh no, hold on. It's the ashes of my incense. Okay. My OCD, wait. Okay, we're back to normal. Okay. Oh no. Come on, man. Got a little more problems. All right. If I can, hold on. Is that my OCD is starting to kick in? I'm a Virgo. I can't help it. How does, um, who are you? How does this person currently feel about this relationship? With Leo. No, my OCD is getting the best of me. One second. I feel, I feel better. I feel better. I do. I just have like a pile of like ashes over here because of my incense. I think we're, yeah, I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. Oh Lord, please stop. Okay. We got the two of wands, Aries, with the six of pentacles, Taurus. Um, and then we got the page of cups here. So, uh, Pisces at the bottom of the deck, you do have the star card here. Like I said, you are inspiring this person essentially, um, to take this leap of faith in your direction here. Um, and, and it is restoring their, their faith and their hope when it comes down to you and, you know, taking this step towards you and creating an equal give and take sort of relationship um, with you here and it's allowing this person to be more open when it comes down to what it is that they're thinking page of swords and what it is that they're feeling page of cups now again one thing that i do want to kind of throw out there is that they are showing up as a page all right so it's going to take some time for this person to essentially uh, fully open themselves to this connection and again their fear is to be open to be vulnerable with you because there's this fear that comes with them being open with what it is that they're thinking but what it is that they're feeling but like I said they are working on it so I do like that <sighs> okay. how does um how does Leo feel? I mean, what actions will Leo take towards this person or moving forward? Okay. Four of Wands. I feel like that has every... This Five of Wands has everything to do with uh, them showing up as pages. But we'll, we'll get into that. What actions will this person um, take towards Leo or moving forward? Alright, you guys, we're gonna run we're gonna run into a little bit of, of, of um hmm. we're gonna run into a little bit of an issue here um towards the very end of all of this. Uh so just 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 be aware, okay? Um I think that you're gonna be able to really navigate through this uh fairly well. Not them though, okay? Because we are hitting a little bit of a a dead end over here on this person's behalf. Um but like I said um, I want to kind of start off with them first and then we'll kind of jump to you because I feel like the way that you're going to navigate through all of this um, is essentially going to continue to keep um, the relationship in itself intact here. It, it, I just don't like it because I kind of feel like it all kind of does fall on you uh, when it comes down to this uh, relationship. You just may have more life experience than this person, to be totally honest. Maybe in the past, you know, you've already, you know, been in a long-term committed relationship so you understand what it takes to be able to maintain uh, a firm and successful foundation at that and maybe this person just may not be that knowledgeable maybe maybe this is their first time being in a long-term committed relationship possibly I don't know um, any who's doesn't matter uh, they have the five of wands and the uh, king of pentacles and the three of wands all right so again this person is very much so open to you 
end this relationship with you. And again, they are leveling up here, right? Because they know that they kind of have to. They can't continue to kind of come to this relationship as a page. That's just not going to work here. Um, so again, it's like... <sighs> It's like the best way that I can describe this person in particular is like the moment that things start to go really good between you and this person is the moment this person really starts to freak out. And that's just them freaking out. I don't necessarily I don't necessarily feel like there's going to be any sort of conflict between you and this person. It could definitely lead to that where this person might kind of turn on you and, and kind of question you and your motives towards them. But again, understand where it's coming from. And I feel like you're going to know where it's coming from. Like I said, I just feel like. I don't know if you're like a therapist or what are you, but I just feel like you have a lot of life experience. You you, you know how to navigate through this. Um, but like I said, this person might all of a sudden turn on you. Uh, and they might start to question like, what do you really want with me? You know, things like that. Or like, you know, I just feel like they're going to do it. I'm going to be honest. I feel like this person's going to all of a sudden turn on you. But you have to understand, they're going from the two of ones to the three of ones. Again, they're, they're getting closer and closer to uh, feeling comfortable uh, in this relationship and, and getting to a place of wanting to fully commit themselves to you. So now it's kind of like to them, it's like this weird thing is happening within them where they're going to kind of look at you like, wait, 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 what do you really want with me? Like, do you really want this? You know, and I feel like they're going to honestly question you and your motives towards them. But like I said, it's just because of the simple fact that this connection is starting to really grow on them. They're starting to catch feelings for you and they're starting to fall in love and now they're starting to freak out and they might start to really distance themselves from you once they get into this energy of kind of having this turn of events uh, kind of happen for them. But again, it's just coming from a place of fear and they're projecting it onto you and you're going to, you're going to realize it and you're going to understand where it's coming from. I don't necessarily feel like you're going to take it personal. I don't, I don't see you doing that. I don't. And like I said, you're going to be able to navigate through this and you're going to be able to put this person's mind at ease. Six of swords is moving forward, but moving forward with clarity here, right? You're going to need to be that person for them to kind of put their mind at ease again put their mind at ease here and make them feel like it is safe for them to fully invest themselves into you in this relationship with you. That's basically what's what it's going to take uh, for this to, to work. Okay. And it doesn't look like you mind. Hierophant, the hermit, I, I don't feel like you mind. Um, doing what you need to do to put this person's mind at ease. But that's something that you're going to have to do uh, towards the very end. There's going to be something that's going to happen, some, some sort of switch within this person where they're going to turn on you and they might pick an argument with you, uh, whatever have you. But again, it's like understand where it's coming from and you will when it happens. You're going to know exactly what to do when this happens. Any advice for Leo in regards to this spread? This person could very well have uh, trust issues here. Like I said, the way that you, again, this, this person's issue is, is I need to feel safe. I need to feel safe. I need to feel safe. And again, you're going to make them feel safe. Okay? Um, you are. You are. So I'm not that worried about it. I feel like this whole, you don't have my best interest at heart, or you're going to play me, or you're going to use me, or you're this, you're that, you don't really love me, you don't really care. All of this is going to go away, like I said, and they're going to eventually feel safe uh, within this relationship. And the two of you will be able to essentially move forward here um, with one another. And this person is going to be more vulnerable to you um, and more willing to move forward with you because it's getting close. Remember that the three goes to the four, right? This person is getting very, very close to like fully saying, all right, let's do this. But they're starting to freak out. All right, so you need to put this person's mind at ease, please. All right, so hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.